I rate France out of 10. Okay, cheese, Eiffel Tower, Macron, Charles Leclerc, Brittany, Corsica, wine, bakeries, not bad, huh? But it's also Jaguar, Coconut, Volcano, Penguin, Paradise Islands, and therefore overseas territory. And yeah, I'm not even kidding. Well, that's not enough to convince you or even to give a grade, but it shows just how unique this country is, and it gives you a taste of what's to come in this video. If real life was a strategy game, France would be well placed on the map, and like its neighboring countries, France has advantages that other countries don't have. Like like Camembert. No, they don't. On the other hand, the country is bordered by the English Channel, the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, giving it a strong presence in the seas and oceans. All of this combined with the presence of a large number of rivers throughout France, such as the Marne, the Seine, the Rhône, the Loire and the Garonne, makes it much easier for France to trade. France is one of the few countries located in both the northern and southern parts of Europe. France's borders are surely the most secure in the world, and so it's also the country's greatest strength with natural defenses. In the east, there's the Rhine. In the southeast, the Alps are almost impossible to cross. In the south, the Mediterranean, with Corsica as an outpost. The Pyrenees mountain range makes it difficult to reach the country. To the west lies the Atlantic. In the northwest, the English Channel separates France from its neighbor and historic enemy, the United Kingdom. And now you'll probably tell me that France was invaded by Nazi Germany in only two weeks. And that's where the country's weak spot comes into play. It's in the north, with a vast plain and no natural defenses. The best way to protect itself would be to merge the country with Belgium and part of the Netherlands to secure this passage to the Rhine. But then, Merging Belgium with France would be like merging a Twingo with a tank. I'm kidding, Belgians. Cool down. I give French geography a mark of 9 out of 10. And so, I'm going to rate the management in France. Okay, Napoleon, Philippe Pétain, Charles de Gaulle, Jacques Setso, I mean, Jacques Chirac, Sarkozy, Macron, yeah. The French have better memories of some leaders than others. France is a liberal democracy, at least on paper it is. In other words, the country seeks to protect individual freedom. Now, let's go back in time in order to understand the evolution of France in recent years. 1939. France is present in Europe, Africa, America, Asia and Oceania. In other words, on every continent in existence, except Antarctica. 12.5 million square kilometers, or around 9% of the Earth's surface. 114 million inhabitants, far more than today. And then, the Second World War turned everything upside down. Decolonization followed, and today, France represents only 0.5%. 44% of the world's land surface. That's 20 times smaller than France was in the middle of the 20th century. Poor management of the country during the Second World War and a slide down the rankings of the world's greatest powers in recent years have caused France to lose points. With today's statistics, France is considered peaceful according to the Global Peace Index, but is still ranked 63rd on the borderline of being moderately peaceful or even unstable. This is perhaps to be expected given all the strikes of recent years. The Human Development Index is high and the country is ranked 28th in the world, so that's correct. France's GDP per capita is among the best, with 46 thousand US dollars and ranks 23rd in the world. On the other hand, many of its European neighbors have a much higher GDP per capita, such as Luxembourg, Germany, Belgium, etc. It's difficult to rate the country's management over the centuries, so I'm going to rate it over the last century and a score of 7 out of 10 seems about right. To relax a bit, let's rate something less important in France. Well, for some, it's much more important. I rate gastronomy out of 10. So let's start with something that's very close to the French heart. Pizza. Oh no, that's Italian. It's more the baguette, the best bread in the world. In any case, 300 baguettes are sold every second in France. And when you say baguette, you say bakery. And when you say bakery, you say food. And when you say food, you say pig's trotter. Or blanquette de veau is better. What I mean by that is that French gastronomy is one of the best in the world, if not the best. And French people are very proud of it. It was the first country to stop wasting food in grocery stores in 2016. And that is really cool. As mentioned above, Blanquette de veau, bœuf bourguignon, bouillabaisse and cocovin are all succulent dishes. Others are on the dark side of the force. Snails, frog's legs and oysters. Even if they appeal to many French people abroad, these dishes are very strange. France has great chefs and great restaurants. It's the country with the most starred restaurants in the world, ahead of Japan and Italy. So honestly, I give French gastronomy a mark of 9 out of 10. If French gastronomy is recognized worldwide, is it the same outside gastronomy? Let's take a look, because I'm going to rate France's presence and influence in the world. And in terms of presence, the country is definitely there. In every ocean, in fact. 
the countries present in the Caribbean with Guadeloupe, Martinique, Saint Barthélemy and Saint Martin, but also in South America with French Guiana, a little further north with Saint Pierre and Miquelon, a huge presence in the Pacific Ocean with Clipperton Atoll, French Polynesia, Wallis and Futuna and New Caledonia, in the Indian Ocean with the French Southern Territories, Mayotte and Réunion Island, and an unrecognized presence in Antarctica. In total, these territories barely exceed the surface area of South Korea. That's good enough, but wait until you see the rest. Because every small island, even a 50 meter one, has its own maritime zone. And France has the second largest maritime empire in the world after the United States, or even first according to some rankings, which gives the country a strong presence in the seas and oceans and brings France's total surface area, including land and oceans, to almost 11 million square kilometers. That's gigantic. France also has the fifth largest diplomatic network in the world. Only five countries have a permanent seat on the UN Security Council, including France, which means it plays an active role in conflict resolution, or at least tries to. We're also talking about the biggest military power in the European Union and a nuclear armed country. And on top of that, it's Europe's most attractive country for foreign investment. France is influential worldwide through its culture. Its language, cuisine, fashion and arts are globally appreciated. With one of the world's largest economies, it excels in sectors such as aeronautics and luxury goods. It also cooperates in key areas such as development and the fight against climate change. The Paris agreements are a case in point, so I give France a score of 7 out of 10. And if I had to rate France, it would be just right. Be careful not to rest on your laurels. You have what it takes to do better. Voila! I think I've said the most important things. If you don't agree and want to give your assessment, the comments are there for that.